Our lost guardian must have sent this frame to broadcast their distress signal. This interface is of human design. It recounts a descent into the anomaly. Gravitational oscillations broke and reformed the glycon many times over. What do you presume they are? The crown, the entity? Idols, sustained by fixation until there is nothing left to reap. It is as if every permutation of the ship's existence collided in one space. Seems Callus has fled. Amsat states, Emperor Callus has left us. His shadow broods. This array contains research logs. The legionaries spread rumors saying, He merged with darkness. He is dead. He fights to save us. The entity's voice emanates from the grave of Mars. The scorn babble to the void. I attentively await response. Our Emperor's vision is at hand. Tomorrow we pierce the Anomaly's veil. We are ready. We have communed and are adrift between worlds. It controls the lower decks, dragging the flame. Dead whispers in the walls. There is no way back. Scribe Omsod states, The Emperor shows us we chase a mirage. The darkness is nothing but a great basin of formless thoughts. A vast tangle of composting chaos. Callus seeks the entity who speaks through the darkness. The darkness is a primal force, wielded like the light. How simple. Able to be brandished against Sivur Arath? and fall into the burrow of an ambush predator. Like a moon, like Erebus. I think not. But tools can be broken, forces can be stopped, and those who wield them can be disarmed. So, this is where they died. Their sacrifice is noted. Their names will be honored. Why were they sent? Accessing the Glycon's mainframe required a direct connection. 